Trying to get to the Nile in the middle of Cairo is not so easy. You have to navigate streets, high-rise buildings, and a lot of traffic. But due to the abundance of fresh water, it is very leafy and alive. Like this tree absolutely full of birds. Did I mention the traffic? Whoa, whoa, got across the road. Okay, well, we arrived at the Nile for our cruise, if you can hear me. We're going to cross this road now. We're going to wait be here a while. But once you get there, it's well worth it. I know. So we're going to take on the classic Egyptian felucas on the Nile. Now we got to get on this thing. A lot of felucas don't have coverings, as this makes for a wider viewing experience. And right next door is this ferry, taking people from one side of the Nile to the other, all day long. A bit of a sketchy start as we got hooked on the side of this nightclub. All good to go. Traditionally, you share what you have with the captain. Not sure drinking and sailing are allowed, but he's faking anyway. The sunset on the Nile does make for the most amazing colours. Fortunately, we started to get some wind. This allows the Felucas to fill out their sails and we get a classic view of the Nile. It happened to be full moon this very night, which means the moon rises as soon as the sun sets. And there you can see it creeping up behind the buildings. As the moon rises higher and higher, it fills the Nile with more light. That with the city lights can send you into a semi-trance-like state. This tranquility is so contrasting with what's going on in the city. many beautiful and strange things to see along the way. Sufficiently tranquilized, we head back to where we began. Yeah, what's the street on that trip? 
What do you think, boys? Very fun.